So what is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. If we have not yet met, my name is Peter Roberts and in today's video, I'm super excited to share with you my real live objection handling. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through calling leads, getting objections, and sharing with you how to get through these objections so you can win faster in life insurance. Now, the reason I want to share this video is because I've sold hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of final expense in this chair at age 23, and this is the video that I wish I saw when I first got started. I didn't know how to handle objections. I didn't know what the best objections or rebuttals were, and I just want to share with everything that has worked for me, walk you through my script, basically, and share with you, hopefully, how to also close deals with the one call closed. If you're getting into final expense or into the life insurance game, doing telesales, I hope this video brings you a ton of value. I'm super excited to share with you everything that has worked for me. And most importantly, allow you to hear what the common objections are, whether it's banking, whether it's social, whether it's, you know, all these little things, which is preventing you from actually closing a deal. So here's what's worked for me. I'm going to start dialing my leads. My leads have been flowing in now, been generating them personally off of Facebook. And now it's time to pick up the phone and call them. So super excited to do this day with you guys, going to go through all the objections, probably have multiple conversations flowing in, but let's close some deals. Let's help a ton of people. And more importantly, let's get better on the phone. So I hope this video brings you a ton of value. Let's see what we can get done today. And I'm super stoked. Let's get it. Cheers. So that you listed your beneficiary as your family member. Do you remember filling that out? Yeah, I remember saying, as a matter of fact, I was just reading about it again. Uh, you know, I don't have enough information, really. Yeah, I'm here to help you with that. Um, my job is to get that information over for you. It shows here that you currently have coverage, but we're looking for more affordable rates or additional coverage. Is, is that correct? Well, I, I can't afford a lot. I'm a disabled vet myself. Okay. But, you know, it's... Uh, I do have a, a policy on my wife, okay. uh, and I have a little bit through the VA, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, okay, I, 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 I'm not sure about it. That's, yeah, and were you just looking to leave something for the family, or are you just trying to mainly cover those burial expenses? Just cover burial okay. expenses, just, that's all. You okay. know, I don't, so you're just concerned that you don't have enough to, to cover everything? Right. Okay. Even though uh, being a disabled vet, mm -hmm. they're supposed to cover everything, but I, I don't know. Uh, we buried our son. He was mm -hmm. a vet. Okay. And we had to come up with a lot of money for him. Yeah. How much? Like ten to 15000 Uh Plus. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, first off, I'm s sorry to hear that. It's, it's crazy to think the people that serve this country, you know, don't have that protection in place. Um, so my job is to let you know what options are out there for you and also find you the most affordable, okay? Um. Now, for you here, do you have anything outside the VA? Such as? Do you have any, like, uh, like your wife has, a, like, a small policy. Do you have anything outside of the VA, like, like, like what your wife would have? No, I don't oh. think so without okay. checking. I'd have to check with her okay. uh, on that. I, I know I bought the policy on her because she, well, she just got over cancer, so. Oh, wow. How's she doing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's doing great, oh, yeah. Good, that's a blessing. Okay. Yeah, God took care of her. Mm, amen to that. Okay, good. Well, Michael, we'll see what options are available for you here. Uh, we'll see what options you can qualify for based off your age and your health, and then we'll shop through all 26 carriers that are partners here. We'll see which one would give you the most affordable rate. Uh, we specifically work with people who are on fixed income, social security, or disability. So my job is to help you find those options, okay? Now, to see what you can qualify for, Michael, are you a smoker? Do I what? Are you a smoker? Uh, yes, I'm in the process of quitting because oh. of all those cancers in the mm -hmm. family. Okay. Uh, any issues with lung disease? Any COPD? No. Okay, wonderful. Any heart attacks, strokes, or cancers? I've had three heart attacks. Okay, three heart attacks. And when were those heart attacks? And then any surgeries, any other, you know, any, any other medical concerns in the past six to 12 months? Past six to 12 months? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, any, any lung... In infections, any respiratory problems, any kidney or liver problems? No. Okay. Amen. Wonderful. And I got your birthday is 128. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. And what's your approximate height and weight, Michael? Uh, uh probably 573. I just checked it yesterday. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, here. Okay, wonderful. And before we jump into this, Michael, it's just really important to me. I'm going to be here for you and your wife. I want to make sure that you guys are in good hands. I just want to share with you some of my personal information, okay? Could you do do me a favor, but could you text me something or call me back later today because I'm I was right in the middle of something here. 
Uh, and I got to meet with the guy here shortly. Yeah, I'll get I'll get that all sent over for you here in a second. Um, you know, kind of fill me in. What what had you even looking around for something like this? When? What had you looking into some life insurance options? Well, my age, mm -hmm. and my wife's age. Yeah. You know, she's seventy nine. I'm seventy seven. I'll be seventy eight next month. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I I want to protect my children. Is what I want to do. Okay. Protect your children. And kind of fill me in. You know, what is what does that mean to you? Just making sure they don't have any bills. What does protecting your children look like? Well, I want to make sure that they. Uh, Number one, can afford our home. Mm -hmm. uh, and number two, that uh, make their life a little easier. My daughter just takes care of us. It's unreal. Mm. Uh, but I also have another son. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to make sure that they don't have to pay nothing out of their pocket when we're gone. Okay. And, you know, are, are you worried about them paying for, you know, the burial arrangements or is there any mortgages, large bills? What's your big, what's the, the biggest concern for you they would have to pay for? Well, I don't know. I did, I mm -hmm. contacted an attorney to mm -hmm. get a trust fund done. Okay. Uh, and I got to meet with him over in uh, Sarasota here, mm -hmm. I think next week. So I, I'm really not sure. To okay. Be with you. Okay. It sounds like to me that you know, since you're not covered through the VA with your, you know, with the burial benefits, that just having something to cover and make sure the burial is taken care of would be important to you. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. I do have a policy that is paid off mm. uh, with the veterans. Okay. How much is that policy worth? I think it's five grand. Okay. And I guess. Do you feel like that's not enough for you? Or you just want to add to that? Is that your? You know, is that would kind of give you the peace of mind that you're looking for? Yes, I need peace of mind because I I don't, mm -hmm. and that's my whole problem. And we went through that with our son. He was a that. Uh, okay. Yeah. And then you had to come out of pocket. There was a lot of misleading, not a lot of accurate information. And I'm oh, sure yes. I'm sure you don't want to pass that burden on to your children or your wife. Correct. That's absolute. Okay. And would you say having just a little something in place which would never change, that would always be there, guaranteed to pay out to your wife, would that be really important to you? Absolutely. Okay. And it sounds like just a little bit is better than, you know, currently what you have right now, right? Just the 5000 Yeah. Okay. So, Michael, it sounds like to me your biggest concern is making sure, you know, at least your burial is fully protected. You, you can go to bed at night you know, making sure everything is taken care of and you don't want any past, any burdens on to your loved ones. It sounds like as a father and as, you know, as a husband, you want to make sure your family's in a really good position. Is that correct? Yes. I'm okay. the leader of the house and, mm -hmm. and okay. I, that's my job. Okay. And right now you just feel like if something did happen to you with currently what you have, that they would be in a pretty t tough spot. Is that is that about right? Yes, I, I'm sure it was. We've, we bought plus when we buried our son. We mm. bought, uh, uh, my wife's and mine. Mm -hmm. uh, but the other costs with funerals are just astronomical. Mm. Yeah, everything keeps going up. Oh, big yeah, time. yeah, and is that kind of the route that you're planning for? Is are you going for a formal burial? Is that what you're kind of you're yeah. looking to protect? Okay, yeah. so so having kids, my kids can both uh, you know they can sustain themselves, but I don't want to leave them with this burden. burden. Okay, so you you kind of know right now that with what you currently have, that they would be past the burden. And you don't want that to happen at all, correct? Right. Okay, and okay for you, and you're gonna be going the burial route. So the five thousand most burials, as you know, is anywhere from you know ten to fifteen thousand. So they would be looking at about a ten, about ten thousand dollars, you know, of expenses to, to pay for out of pocket if you didn't have any extra coverage. Correct. Right. Okay. And uh, Michael, it sounds like uh, you kind of know what you're looking for. You're just trying to find something that, that makes sense for you. Um, if I could help you find something, Michael, that is, you know, comfortable and affordable for you here, would there be anything holding you back to see if you can get qualified? Not sure. Okay. You know, until I talk to uh, Donna, my wife. Okay, good, good. Well, I'm sure Donna, I'm sure Donna wouldn't be too upset if, if you made sure that she was in a good position, right? Well, she thinks we are. But... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't know the whole story. Yeah, and, and you know, as the man of the house, you just want to make sure that you know there's no surprises for her, right? Right. Okay. So, and it sounds like 
what you're looking for is something where the cost will never change. It's going to be there for you for the rest of your life. And most importantly, it's going to be there to pay out to your wife. Is that is that about right? Yes. Okay. I don't want a term policy. Okay. You want the whole life, correct? Yes. Okay. So, and with with you being a smoker, do you plan on stop smoking anytime soon? Yes, I do. Okay. I promised my wife that okay. uh, after the holiday, I'm going to stop. Yes. Okay. Well, the, I had quit once before. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I know I can do it. Okay. Well, is it is it okay if I keep you accountable as well? Because not only it's going to help you with your health, but it's also going to help you save some money. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Okay, good. Because I'm going to be here for you, Michael and and Donna, for a long time and make sure you're in a really good position. Um, so the one of the, the preferred partners, it's that whole life coverage that is is partnered here to give you the best rate um, based off your age and your health out of all 26 carriers. Is a carrier called Americo. Have you heard of them before? No. Okay. Um, this will also be the whole life coverage where it'll build that cash value. And most importantly, it has a accidental death benefit rider. So what that means is if you pass in an accident, if you have a $15,000 policy, that'll turn into 30000 okay? I just add it on there for you. Okay. So by far the, the, the cheapest rate for you here. Now we'll look at a few options. Um, you have the 5000 in place. So we'll look at an additional 5000 we'll look at a, a 10000 and then a $15,000 option as well. And then we'll have to see if they'll qualify you, but we'll have to see, you know, um, if they'd be willing to approve you or not, okay? Okay. So currently for the 5000 so why they recommended that is, this, you know, you mentioned the burials is really important to you. Um, if you wanted just to make sure that, you know, majority of 95, 99% of your burial expenses are taken care of, an additional 5000 of, of coverage would could put you up the par to 10000 total. So it'll be enough to kind of squeeze you by. It'll be that little extra something, but it won't really take care of everything, okay? Okay. So that first 5000 for you would cover... You know all the all the burial expenses. You have ten thousand total, but the five thousand here, based off your age and your health at age seventy-seven, it shows here if you can get qualified for the five thousand, it would be uh, seventy-one ninety-two. Yeah, I could do that. Okay, if you're able to get approved here, um, the second option is the seven thousand dollar option. This will take you right at twelve thousand total. That you know will take care of your formal burial since you have some some taken care of. This would never go away. It will be there for you for the rest of your life. And most importantly, it'll have you'll have the five and the seven to make sure your wife's really in a good spot. So that seven thousand of coverage if you're able to get qualified uh, would be ninety nine seventeen. Okay. Yeah. And the last option for you, you know, I don't know if I'd recommend this for you. We got you can always add to it at a later date. But the ten thousand would give you fifteen thousand total since you already have that five. That'll cover everything start to finish. Basically, you can go to bed at night knowing that everything is completely taken care of. And most importantly, you could also give you know your wife a few extra thousand dollars left over. Maybe leave it to the children, um, if that would make sense for you. And that ten thousand dollar option, yeah, it's still gonna be the most affordable out of all of them. Yeah, good. It would be one forty oh five if you're approved. Well, see what we can get. Okay. If we can get it approved. Okay. Make a okay. That. Well, what we'll do is we'll fill out the application, and they're actually going to let us know if you're qualified or not, and then you can kind of set it up for you know some time out where you can think about it, get everything. But let's see if they'll qualify you. Um, hopefully they will, because this is going to be the cheapest option for you and the the best A-rated coverage for you. Okay. And in regards to the approval, do you want to try just for the five thousand for now or the seven thousand? What makes most sense? Seven thousand. Okay, and then let's do this for you here. Nineteen forty-five. So your birthday is January twenty-eighth. Yes. Okay. Here I got you in Florida. The good thing is too, it'll look at your age at seventy-seven because once you turn seventy-eight, the cost, you know, you're locking it at at a cheaper rate, which is going to be helpful for you here. The older that you get, the more expensive things come, you know. And um, Michael, this is my personal cell phone number too. I want you to save this in your phone. If you or Donna ever need anything, have any questions, I want you to call me at any time. I want to be here for you for you for life. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, that's awesome. And then Michael, your email on file here. They'll send you out an email. Is my mom? Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. And this is the best cell phone number to put on file for you. Yes. Okay. And the one thing you do next is your prescription check. All that's tied to your social. So can you verify that for me? It's a three. Here, so to make sure that we're insuring the right person and not your neighbor. And then if you're qualified, uh, what would be a good day for the cover to kind of kick in for you? I don't know that okay. yet. I don't know. Okay, so let's do this for you here. Um, we could set it out um, 
to the, let's see here, the 15th of this month so you can receive everything. Uh, it's totally up to you what would make most sense. Ed? 15th is okay, but I'd rather start maybe January 1 and just make things simpler. Okay, Jen, let me see if they'll let me push it out there for you. It's not that would start. Everything would come in the mail before then, so you can kind of review it with your wife, go through everything. Um, but all in all, uh, you're, you won't be covered until then if you are approved, okay? Okay. So just make sure you wrap yourself in some bubble wrap or something if you're qualified. You don't want to, uh... Okay, good. And then the, the existing payer, okay, and you would be the one funding this, is that correct? Yes. Okay, here. Okay, here we'll hit next. And then we'll be finding out with a checking or a savings account? It'd, it'd be a checking. Okay, checking account here. And then who do you bank with? A Chase. Okay. Okay, here, Chase Bank. Okay, so it auto generates. I don't know if this is correct. As two. Does that sound about right? What's that? It auto generates the routing as 231. Does that sound right? I don't know. I don't have my card on me. Okay. Uh, Let's see here for and you. And I'm not even close to it right now. Okay. Is it just in the other room? Yeah. Oh. I, I, yeah. Okay. Let's do this here for you. Okay. So it's not on you there. Okay. And I put it on automatic withdrawal. Okay. So we can do that for you. Nothing would start. Okay. I just want to make sure we connect, connect it there for you. Do you have like a, a checkbook? Yes. Okay. Go ahead and grab that for me so we can make sure it's right there for you. I don't want to put on the wrong information and then you don't have the coverage if you're quiet. Okay, hang okay. in there because okay. I'm going to go in the house here. Okay. Are uh, you ready? Uh-huh. Good. Okay, routing. Okay, there. And the account number. Just want to read this back to you here. Make sure it's right. Seven, is that correct? That's correct. Okay. We're going to hit validate. Okay, we're going to continue here. He just hung up on me. Let's call him back. Shut off. Don't worry. I thought I thought you said so, I thought I said something you didn't like. You're like the hell with this guy. <laughs> no worries. Okay, here for you. Okay, so it's processing application. It says congratulations, Michael. You have been fully approved for that seven thousand of coverage. So congratulations. They are willing to give this coverage to you, which is amazing. Uh, but Michael, I just want you to know that truthfully, if you, your Donna, you know, Patricia needs anything, that I will be here. I'm going to be your, you know, your advisor for life. And um, I want you to know that there will never be any questions when that time comes. And most importantly, that your family will be, will be taken care of, okay? Okay, I'm going to give those, uh, both my wife and my daughter, your number and your name. Yes. Mainly barrel expenses. Okay, and it's and it shows here you, you have a little something. Is is that is that right? I've got about eight nine thousand dollars. Okay, like a, <laughs> eight nine, a little something small like that. Do you feel like it's not enough, or are you just trying to find out a better rate? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm <laughs> seventy eight years old. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, no worries, but your biggest concern is just to cover in those burial expenses, huh? Right. Okay. Well, Billy, my job but, here. Would you but say? Now, Mm -hmm. They're telling us that we can, uh, well, go ahead. Yeah, so, um, my name is Peter, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. So what we'll do is we'll see what options you can qualify for based off your age and your health, and we'll see which ones would give you the most affordable rates, okay? Okay. It's all non-medical too, Billy, so no doctors come out to your house, no needles or blood work, okay? Whatever. Okay, here, and Billy, uh, kind of fill me in, are you a smoker? Nope. Okay, any issues? I was, oh, you were? I haven't in 20 years. Oh, 20 years. One of the best decisions you made, right? Yeah. Why? You just wanted to save money on life insurance, or you just you thought it was a bad habit? Well, I want to quit drinking. I couldn't quit drinking until I quit smoking, so. Mm. Gotcha here. Any issues with lung disease, COPD, any kidney or liver problems? Yep, I got COPD. Okay, gotcha here. Are you on any oxygen or, or nebulizers? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, let me see what options are available for you here. Now, Billy, my name is Peter Roberts. It's really important to me that you know who you're, you're speaking with. So I'll share with you some of my information, okay? Thank you. Yeah, so my first and last name is Peter Roberts. Peter Roberts. Yeah, Peter Roberts. Peter Cottontail, same old here. Yeah. Uh, uh, my, my, this is my cell phone number here. You can call me, text me, FaceTime me. Uh, whatever it is you need, I'm here for you. 
And then lastly, they require that I share with you my with my my state license number. That is 19. Can show you where I live. You know that I'm licensed with the state. Been through all the background checks, all that fun stuff. Okay. Have a good one. Yeah, and then kind of fill me in, Billy. What had you? I guess you know looking around for some additional you know life insurance. Do what? What had you looking around for some more you know additional life insurance? I don't know. Hell, I'm getting old. I'm getting older. Okay, here. And by God. Expensive now, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you just want to make sure here uh, you listed your children as the beneficiary. You want to make sure that they're not past any financial burdens or anything. I don't have no financial burdens. Okay, you you don't want them having to pay for any of your burial costs, do you? No. Nope. Okay, and right now you only have the seven thousand. I got an eight thousand and a one thousand. Okay, eight thousand and a one thousand. So you got nine thousand total. How much do they make? Put me, had to put me in the ground here. Oh, okay. So why would having a little bit extra be important to you? Hell, I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm just here to help you. You, you filled out the request here. Um, how much are they making to pay for that nine thousand? One of them paid. The other one. I don't know, uh, mm -hmm. $180 a month, something oh. like that. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. And I guess, would you say having just a few extra, you know, are you trying to leave any money behind to your children or just cover the burial expenses? I've got, I've got money that's going to be left behind to them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let me see here for you. Because there's only shows here there's one option available for you. Um, I guess, what is your biggest concern? I ain't got no concern. Okay. I just thought I'd... I saw that. Mm-hmm. Check on it. Right. Just trying to get a little extra, right? Yeah. Okay. And would you say having a little bit extra would, would kind of give you the peace of mind that you've been looking for? Well, like I said, I, I've got enough to put me in the ground. Mm -hmm. I've got my barrel plot paid for. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Well, I guess fill me in. What, what would be the one reason why having additional coverage would be helpful for you? Hell, I don't know. I just thought I'd check on it. Okay. Okay, so what do you want me and to try? I got enough to cover and put me in the ground, and that's all I really need. Okay. So what do you want me to try to? What do you want me to? I saw this advertise, so I'm going to do a land on it. Just see what options yeah. are. And now, you, now you're talking to your new best friend. So aren't you glad you did it? I don't know yet. <laughs> you haven't told me nothing yet. Okay, well, we'll look at a few options here. Since you already feel like you're in a good spot, I'll just share with you what the, 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 the minimum would be. Um, the one carrier here that would recommend you and give you the best rate, it also be preferred partner for us here, uh, would be a company called AIG. Have you heard of them before? No. Okay, so with the daily auction or you know the auction use, this is the only option that would be available for you based off your current age and your health. So here's kind of their rates for you, and I'll let you, you, you kind of let me know if this makes sense for you or not, all right? And it sounds like you're looking for something where the cost never changes. It'll be there for you for the rest of your life and guaranteed to pay out. Is that about right? Is that kind of what you're looking for, Billy? Give me an idea of what the hell. Okay. Well, the, the, the lowest amount of coverage you can apply for would be an eight, uh, 5,000 additional coverage. So that'll bring you up to 14,000 total. For the 5000 of coverage, based off your current age and your health, if you can get approved, would be $88.47 if you're able to get qualified. Okay. Um, and then the second option for you, let's see here. Yeah. Okay. Huh. They'd actually give you 9000 for 157 That's cheaper than what you're paying now. Huh. That's interesting. 9000 for how much? One fifty-seven. dollars 65 A hell of a jump. Yeah, um, that's for the additional 9000 And then, this is also whole life, so at age 86, you don't have to pay into it anymore. It'll be paid off for you. Yeah. And then, I don't know if you just, I mean, they recommended most people look at a $7,000 option. I'm just going to throw that out there for you. Uh, that 7000 is one twenty three oh six. Okay. Yeah. So we'll have to see if they'll qualify you even. I'm not sure if you'll be able to get it. But I guess kind of fill me in what will give you the most peace of mind. You think the 5000 or the 7000 I'd probably go 7 if I get it. Okay. So let's see if we'll qualify here and then you have at least something to think about. Does that sound fair? Yeah. Okay. Let's start the application here. We'll fill it out. 
um, and they'll actually let us know here over the phone if you're qualified or not. And make sure James has all my information. It's important that he knows who to go to if something happened to you, okay? Right. And then if you're approved, do you want anything to come in the mail or electronically? If you're qualified, do you want anything to come in the mail for you so you can put it in a safe spot or just to your email? Yeah, I had, I had all this stuff, this kind of stuff in a safe spot. Okay. I had it in a safe in my bedroom. Okay. Somebody took the whole damn safe. Someone stole your safe? Yep. Oh my gosh. And then they're going to do that prescription check here for you to see if you can get qualified. That's tied to your social, so can you verify that for me? Do what now? Their prescription check. So basically what they do is they'll look up your MIB, it's your Medical Information Bureau, to see if you can qualify for the coverage. All that's tied to your social, so they make me verify that. Okay. Okay, whenever you're ready. Uh, what is it you want? About your social. Okay, I want to make sure that we're insuring the right person here, so it's paid out to you. Um, for, it's here for you. Alright, continue. Let's see what they say. You know, Billy, if you are qualified here, what would be a good day to have this kind of kick in for you? What's a good start date? First next month, I guess. Okay, here. This is your plan, so whatever makes sense for you. Uh, let me see here for you. The first, so they'll push it out to January 1st, 2023, and you want it to come out the first of every month? Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. And then in regards to, to funding it, if you are qualified, you'd be using a checking or a savings account? Come out of checking account. Okay. Is that what your your other policy had come out of? Yeah. Okay. And who do you bank with? Yeah. That's in Alexandria. It's in this area. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see if they'll pull it up. The branch I use is in Baltimore. Yeah. Okay. Here. Let's see if it pulls it up. I don't know if this is right, but it auto generates that routing number as zero. Does that sound about right? Okay. It's fine, I don't like to skip cookie. Takes forever, yeah. Dude. And the account number? Dude. And six. Yep. Okay, here, and the, the routing was zero. That was a checking account, right? Yeah. Okay, here, we're hit. Come, can submit, continue. Okay, let's see. In regards to today, is there anything I can help you with? Was this helpful for you? No thanks. Okay. I don't okay. know of anything. Okay. And, um, you know, if, if, is, there, is there anything that you, you need me to, like, send you, but this all makes sense for you, right? Yeah. Okay. So you'll have that additional coverage, and that will kind of give you the peace of mind that you're looking for? Uh, right okay. Now. And, Billy, do you have, this is my number, do you want to write that down so you can call me anytime? I got it on this phone. Right okay. Here. Okay. Sorry, Billy, it might have been, like, seemed like a little bit of pain, but I just want to let you know, I'm just trying to help you. Uh, I didn't. You know, I didn't mean to make it frustrating for you. Okay. Okay. Um, Bye. See you, Billy. Bye-bye. Bro, that was the weirdest sale I've ever made. He started to yell at me, this guy. Um, so I'm going to call him a few days before the application goes through. Just with, like, the resistance. Like, I, I don't even know. Like, he, he basically didn't want it but still needed it. I told him, like, multiple times, like, we don't have to do this if this important, it's not important to you. And he still went along with it. So, um, just pretty cool. Um, I guess when you ask the right questions, you kind of sit in there with these people and you don't get like emotionally reactive, that they are still willing to move forward. Um, so, just really cool there is the second presentation, second close. That was a um, 123 per month. Um, just just a weird call, weird call, but just want to share with you all the angles of, you know, how these, how once you learn the skill of sales, once you can learn how to ask the right questions, you can build that trust. And even when people literally want to hang out with you, hang up with you, they will still get the policy. So just a strange call, but super grateful I can document that. But um, just, I think that was a good example of going through a lot of the objections. Um, and most importantly, start to finish, we had two closes that are now documented on the one call close. So I hope this video like, brought you a ton of value. If it did, please comment below, like this video, subscribe. If you also want access to my free private sales group, um, it's below, but literally this is 
what we're gonna do is basically just sharing how agents can actually win in this industry, give you all the tools and resources for people to make money in this industry, and most importantly, help you acquire the skills that will help you win. So I hope to be this resource for you. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. Um, really good client, the first one. The second guy, Billy, is kind of crazy, but uh, we pulled it off. Gonna edit everything over for you and also make it happen. So. I'm just super grateful that I can document this journey and my mission is to help other agents win, give you the tools and tactics, and most importantly, educate you on what you need to do to make money in this industry. So love you guys so much. If this video brought you a ton of value, let me know. I uh, hope to help you, you know, in any adventure, any anything that you're struggling with, uh, here for you. Cheers.